Well, hello there. Of course, it's the Divine Miss Mickey here again. Um, didn't get to do anything last night because there was a lot of rain going on and tin roof, rain. Can't get much to do with sound. <laughs> so I ended up going, I'll get an early night. Well, uh, the idea was there. Because see, a friend of mine uh, and I, um, she told me that we'd been asked to play at um, a friend of hers. Um, <clears throat> Unfortunately, his daughter passed away. So we're sitting at the funeral. And I mean, that's, that's such a beautiful thing to be asked to do. Um, so I decide, oh, well, I'll go looking for songs before I go and have an early night. And it's like, you know, uh, 10.30, heading towards 11, and I'm going, well, I'm not going to get much chance with this rain going on here. So, uh, hmm, over three hours later, actually, no, it was probably more four hours later, I finally said, enough. You've got to stop. You've got to stop. You've got to get sleep. Oh, I was having a ball. I had a good night's sleep, though. <laughs> I was exhausted. Anyway, that's enough about me. What do we have to do? What else am I going to talk about? Oh, I know. I'll talk about heaps. Yes, there's Leo. He's back. He's like, she's filming again. And uh, how many energies being funny? He's been a bit, um, a bit funny lately. Oh, look at him. Oh. He, um, yeah, he's been a bit moody and funny. And so many people are complaining about fatigue. You know, I mean, I have fibromyalgia. Chronic fatigue is part of that. But it's been really, really strong. And there's so many people who don't have fibro, who don't have chronic fatigue, but they're so tired. They feel drained. And if you're going through that, guess what? You're not alone. It's, it's not that you're going insane or, or the, you know something drastically wrong. It's the energies and the solar flares and frankly, the news and everything that's going on is literally sapping our energy. So go with it. If you want to have that nana nap or that grandpa nap, do it. Have that break. Think about yourself, look after yourself. It's really, really important. So, now, what am I going to do today? Well, there's two things I want to do talk about um, I really truly intend for this to be a short one hmm. how many times have I said that no I but I really really am gonna try so uh, I think I mentioned in the last video that I discovered that I I do now have a community tab so tonight I'm going to post up asking for questions now this they can be political they can be personal uh, if it's too personal where you don't want to actually put it out in the open email me my email address is always uh, in the description box so please feel free and we'll work around it and make sure that your anonymity is protected um, but you get your question answered because sometimes yeah um, I, I gotta be careful about asking about third party when it's personal uh, I can't really sort of um, I, I can't really say what another person is thinking you know or, or poke too much into their life when it's personal when it comes to politics fair game so uh, <laughs> so political politics I also can do yes or no with my trusty pendulum. This is a um, amethyst chevron that I've had for many years and um, do you have to? I've got head butted on my big bun at the back. Um, but um, I, I had this for years and um, I think that my daughter gave me this one. Uh, it's a, a crystal bag for a necklace and I haven't been able to really wear anything around my neck for a long time. 
and and I thought, well, I'm not good with metal. Um, I'm just so sensitive to things. And I thought, well, why not work this as a pendulum? So, um, okay. Just so that people can um, get an idea, Spirit, could you, uh, can I ask you a question? Now, when it goes round and round, that says yes. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, what is it, what question will I ask? Well, seeing most of you are American, some of you aren't, but there's a lot of you who are, and frankly the whole world is watching. Let's just ask. Okay, ask a question. Thank you. This will show people, um, can we do, show a yes? So back and forth is yes. So, can you please do a no? Right, now we're getting it side to side. Side to side is no. Okay. So, probably could shorten that. Um, so, we use the pendulum. We'll ask a question. Okay, I've shortened it a little bit. So, I ask this question, just the truth, please. And a lot of people are getting very, very worried and nervous, and so if we can ease those concerns or let them be aware, that would be wonderful. Okay. Will Joe Biden win the 2024 election in, two, uh, in uh, November 2024? straight to a yes. So you can stop worrying. My feelings on the subject is yes, Trump will be nominated. I mean, if that's the best that they have, well, you know, you've heard about uh, Schitt's Creek. I've heard it's a really good TV show, but I'm kind of using that as a way to say they're not only without the paddle, they've forgotten the canoe. They're in the crap. So, but anyway, I'm, I'm going to say what many others are saying as well, and I've felt all along that yes, he'll get nominated. It won't do any good because he may not actually physically be able to stand for election in the long run. And what I mean by that is um, not that he's going to die. I don't, don't think that. Not yet. But literally his body and his brain will melt down. And he won't be in a good way. And, you know, look... No one wants to think bad of anyone. Well, we try not to. But frankly, this person, and you know who I'm talking about, the orange blimp, that's what I now call him, um, he's hurt a lot of people. Uh, and come up, well, she's been sharpening her nails and she's ready to be with him. So... Call a spade a spade. That's what us Aussies do. Call a spade a spade. And he's been shoveling a lot of crap at people, so it's coming back to haunt him. That's karma. Okay, waffled on. So, in the community page, um, you can do personal, political questions, uh, current events, um, environmental, because I'm very, very much into the environment. Um, yes or no questions. Just make sure you state what the question is. Um, and like as in, 
yes or no pendulum, uh, which would be yes or no the pendulum, um, uh, tarot, oracle, uh, numerology. Now, I can do very basic uh, numerology, um, and all I'd need is one of two things either your first name, and that is the name at birth, or I can do it on your date of birth. I'm leaving it totally up to you because we're going to get an idea. It's not the full picture, but we're going to get an idea. You're going to get something out of it. Um, so I'm leaving it up to you. Let's have some fun. I mean, let's face it, the world is so heavy. Let's just have fun. If you want to do a fun question, go for it. You know, just don't go a question of when is my dog going to do the next crap because, you know, frankly, that's that's between the dog and the grass, you know, if they go on grass. So, anyway, that's what I wanted to do today was talk about making things start happening and the readings and um, I'll probably um, we'll probably do this maybe every couple of weeks let's see how it goes you know um, as the channel grows now on the I gotta remember if you hang on for a sec I shall get up my email because I, I want to get the right time. I'm going live with Deanne from uh, Deanne Shield Maiden Terror. I think I've got that right. Uh, she is the most beautiful soul. Ah, mum, mum. Now let's have a look. I'm just checking the... Yeah, Deanne Shield Maiden Terror. Um, now it is 7 p.m. Central Time. Um... And that is on March the 18th. So in Australia, I think that worked out to be about 11 a.m. <coughs> Pardon me. The weather's getting to me. Um, so, yeah, please join in. If you don't already know Deanne, she beautiful soul, very insightful. I'd love to get her manifest soils and, you know, <coughs> when um, when the cost of postage from the US to Australia goes down, because it's really expensive, um, I'm going to be buying a bucket load because they look fantastic. Um, so that's what's going to happen on the 18th. So um, let's have a look. That's your still in the I think some of you are coming into the 12th of March and some are in the 11th oh, well you can figure it out these time zones sometimes really do my head in but <coughs> you work with them so now what was I going to do oh yes go back here um, just to finish off add a little bit of something because I'd love to uh, hear what um, some of you had to say on this subject and it's does age determine the level of wisdom you know I never thought about it you know in of asking that question because for me um, age should talk about the level of wis wisdom that the older a person gets the more wisdom they can acquire but I've been seeing some very very wise young people and, I, and it's like well we're getting a lot of old souls coming in and with these old souls some are quite evolved and they have brought in with them just an innate wisdom something that is just so natural in them they haven't been taught it. They might have honed their school skills, but they're just naturally wise. And it's like, 
wow, that sort of says that really age has nothing to do with it. It's the way they are. So I would love to ha hear your feedback on this because it's such a, a thing of, you know, this ageism that goes on where someone is too young or they're too old or they're not old enough or they're not young enough you know and and we put focus on the numbers you know oh well I don't want anyone over 50 what if the person over 50 has the mind and body of a 30 year old I mean the numbers it says how many years you've been on this earth in this lifetime it does not, does not denote your level of wisdom. It does do not, it, it, it doesn't define a person unless you let it. Something to think about. So I am literally going to leave it at this. How's that? I've actually done a short one. I haven't done them for a while. So. I'll be tonight putting a, a, a post up on the community page, our first post, yay! <clears throat> and um, I'm actually thinking that I might have a little bit of um, a contest, competition, or whatever, well, free draw, I like that, that's much better. Um, that we've just hit the hundred so when uh, I we hit the 200 subscribers I'm going to give a free reading we can do it um, over StreamYard or Skype or Zoom um, or email um, whatever suits you let's do it it's fun this is what it's about okay so I'm going to leave it at this I'm going to leave it or not oh yes Leo's back you going to say hello Leo you going to say hello over here oh. yes <laughs> sometimes he gets so smoochy he actually bites my head gets in trouble for it because he doesn't do anything lightly he's just full on he's a Scorpio this boy aren't you hey Leo you're my Scorpio he's the most readable cat I've ever had in my life don't even think about it okay mm, see readable um so anyway look after yourself pamper yourself be kind to yourself, be kind to others. Do random acts of kindness because they really do put smiles on dials. No matter, big, small, whatever. Look after the earth because there's no planet B. I know that's a cliche saying, but it's true. We don't have an alternative planet we can move to if we screw this one up. So let, let's look after it. And you know what? Don't sweat the small stuff. Relax. It's all going to work out. It will. And the thing is, I, I've been saying for a long time when people are having problems, what's the worst that can happen? Well, I guess some people would say the worst that could happen is you die. But is that really the worst you know it's it's like sure if you feel like something is not a good thing for you to do then trust that if it's your intuition not fear but live life as best you can with what you've got there's always a way smile laugh Fake it till you make it. It works. 
I'm waffling on again, aren't I? Oh well. We shall talk later. So bye for now. Love you all. Bye.